If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen that I've been posting a lot of love for Laravel lately. And I wanted to make a video to talk about like why I'm deciding to go all in on Laravel and like why I absolutely love it. And this isn't a video to persuade anybody into using Laravel or anything like that. I just feel that I've been very vocal about it on other social media platforms and I think that a video is due. And since I once upon a time talked about software development on this channel and still kind of do, I figured why not? I want to spread some love for the Laravel community and talk about why I think it's so awesome. First, I want to say that I was never 100% like a JavaScript developer. I never really used any of the fancy new frameworks. I wasn't a Next.js guy. I mostly used JavaScript because that's what I worked in. Most of my experience is in Angular. I know, yuck, nobody likes Angular, but that's what I probably worked in the most. Other than that, a lot of my work experience was using jQuery or vanilla JavaScript because I was working in AEM, which used a lot of vanilla stuff. It didn't really use a framework. I did use a little bit of React for a few months when I was working at one of my dev jobs, but mostly I'm an Angular dev with vanilla JavaScript and TypeScript experience. That's what I worked in. So I never was 100% sold on React. I never felt like I had to use Next.js because that's just what I use. I never worked in Vue, although I heard a lot of good things about it. So I didn't want to use Nux or learn Vue just because I didn't really want to learn another JavaScript framework. And since most of my experience was JavaScript based and I had some experience with React, when I started building out one of my websites that I was working on, I decided to go with Next.js. I eventually rewrote that in Laravel and it took me a while to make that decision, but I did spend a good amount of time learning Next.js. And this isn't gonna be a bash Next.js video. I actually do have an idea for why I chose Laravel over Next.js for another video. So if you wanna see that, let me know and maybe I'll make it, but it's probably gonna have a lot of the same points that I'm gonna make here about why I love Laravel. But long story short, I chose to use Laravel because I kept hearing so many good things about it. And I kept just, seeing so many people post about how great it was, how much stuff it offered and how much came out of the box and how it was just such a good developer experience. Eventually I was sold on it when I saw one of Josh series videos where he kind of talked about like why he chose to use Laravel. He said something along the lines like, I don't know PHP, I know Laravel. And he came from JavaScript world, which was something that felt familiar to me so I could relate. And that was one of the big selling points for me where I was like, all right, maybe I'll learn this. It took a while to get over the yuck PHP. I don't want to use PHP. PHP is old and nobody uses it and it's slow and it's just not a desired language and it kind of sucks. All of these were things that I was saying about PHP that I kind of heard secondhand from other people. I didn't personally think these things, but there was enough influence out there that made me believe that that's how PHP was. And maybe that's the case for like old PHP, but new school PHP is cool. Like they're driving Lambos and shit. It's pretty nice. And Larry Laravel was actually super nice and is super nice. Once I got into a Laravel application, I realized how well structured it was and how easy it was to understand everything that was going on and how nice it was, just very well set up. And it didn't feel like yuck PHP. It was like, oh, this is this is pretty sweet. I like this. So big shout out to Josh for convincing me to give it a try. And he makes really good content. I would check out his channel if you are interested in Laravel. He officially works for Laravel now. I really enjoy his content. I've learned a lot from his channel. I think he's got top notch stuff. I also follow him on Twitter. But nonetheless, before I get into all the other reasons why I like Laravel so much, I want to say that the reasoning for me to jump into this framework head first was not because I was looking for a job in PHP or because because Laravel has a lot of job potential out there. It's not that at all. I actually wanted to find a framework that I got comfortable in, that I can build quickly so that I can rapidly produce different SaaS ideas and products and websites that I have ideas for. And I really thought that Next.js was gonna be that, but it ended up having a lot of pain points that I didn't particularly like. Again, I'll probably save that for another video, but Laravel, kind of filled the void and made a lot of those pain points go away when I started using it. But I want to say that I'm not advocating Laravel as a framework to learn or PHP as a language to learn if you're in the job market and you're trying to get a job because I don't really know what the job market looks like for Laravel or PHP. Of course, 
75% of the internet is written in WordPress, which uses PHP. And PHP was like the, the language of the web before JavaScript uh, took over that title. So it might be good for getting a job, but the purpose and the reason why I decided to use Laravel was because I wanted to be able to get things up and running fast. And I wanted to be able to build things quickly. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time setting up every project from scratch and not having basic things like authentication set up and things that you kind of need in every SaaS that you're going to build. And Laravel has a lot of that stuff just out of the box. And it's really nice to not have to worry about setting up auth or setting up your ORM if you're going to use an ORM because Laravel already has one that it uses out of the box. And it's really nice to not have to put so much thought into all these things that I don't really care about. At the end of the day, I just want them to work and I just want to be able to get up and running and build something quickly. And that's was one of the biggest selling points for me about Laravel and why I decided to give it a try. With that said, if you're not familiar with Laravel and its design pattern, it uses a model view controller. And I personally like that. I have experience in that. So that was another big selling point for me. It made it very easy for me to transition into the MVC world because I used Angular, which uses an MVC paradigm. And like, I'm used to that setup and I'm used to that way of developing. And it wasn't hard for me to pick that up. So that was like a big selling point for me. If you're not familiar with that, maybe it might take you a little bit of learning to kind of get used to that. I think learning how an MVC pattern works is good. And I think that it only takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to that. And it's another thing that you can add under your tool belt. If you decide to learn Laravel, you kind of end up learning how an MVC works. So that's kind of good, but it was an easy transition for me. So that was another big reason why I was like, oh yeah, that's not going to be too hard. I can pick that up quickly. So when I was selling myself on it or when I was trying to convince myself to start using it, I was like, all right, well, that's a good reason why I should give it a shot because I kind of already know how to do that or how that works. And like I mentioned, there's a lot of stuff that it offers out of the box. But one of the things that I do like about Laravel that some people might not is that it's very opinionated. And I remember hearing Josh Siri mention this again. I want to give him a shout out because I feel like he's played a big part in my Laravel journey. I like opinionated frameworks. I like being told what to do, how to do it. And I like that there's a certain way to do things because I hate having to figure it out. And I hate having, you know, the more than a hundred ways to skin a cat when it comes to different JavaScript frameworks. I like that if I have to do it this way, I know I have to do it that way. And that's just the way I have to do it. And I don't have to bother using extra brain power in order to try to figure things out and learn how to do things. Like I learn how to do it, how the framework wants me to do it. And that's how it's done. And that's all I got to worry about. I think that that's a preference and definitely something that I prefer. Some people don't like heavily opinionated frameworks and some people don't like the fact that they have to do things a certain way. So far in my experience with Laravel, it's been actually really nice to not have to like figure out which service am I going to use? What ORM am I going to use? I, I like that the framework has a set way of doing it. And once you learn that, then you're good. It speeds up your development process and it speeds up how fast you can ship stuff. And that's really all I care about at this point in time. I keep mentioning how much it offers out of the box, right? With just the Laravel installer, you can install with Breeze or Jetstream. You can have authentication. You can have two-factor authentication. You can have all kinds of different stuff that just comes out of the box. But there's also so many like first-party Laravel official packages that you can use for almost everything you need. And there's also a really good amount of official like third-party packages too. For instance, I had to set up Lemon Squeezy. Lemon Squeezy had a Laravel package. It was so quick to set up payment processing through Lemon Squeezy that I couldn't believe it because I did the same thing in Next.js and that was a big pain in my ass. That took a lot of work. The official or semi-official documentation that I found for Lemon Squeezy with Next.js was using Drizzle and I wasn't using Drizzle. I was using Supabase on my application. So I actually had to like reverse engineer what they were doing in Drizzle, in Supabase. It was a lot of work. And with Laravel, I just installed the Lemon Squeezy package and boom, a few lines of code, an API key in my environment file, and I'm done. 
like that was so nice. Another package was with Resend, which is an email service that is pretty popular and people use it on Next.js as well. Wasn't too difficult to set up on Next.js, but they also have an official package for Laravel. Took minutes to get that working on my application in Laravel. There's so many of those third-party officially supported Laravel packages that I keep coming across that is making development just a breeze and it's making it really nice. So besides the out-of-the-box stuff, there's a lot of third-party stuff that's kind of officially supporting Laravel. And also another thing that's really nice too is that it has a great community and there's a lot of people building stuff. One thing that I saw recently was Auth by Deb Dojo. And even though Laravel has Auth out of the box, this package for Auth looks like it adds so much to what is already a really nice out-of-the-box functionality. You can slap Deb Dojo's Auth package on top of it and it just add so much extra functionality to your auth that is really, really nice. I just haven't had a chance to check it out, but it looks really, really good. And I'm looking forward to checking that out. Also, another thing that I came across was from a developer named Serge on Twitter. He built a starter kit called Larafast that I started using, which is really nice. He kind of boilerplated a lot of the stuff that you need for a SaaS. Like a lot of the payment stuff is set up. So he has it set up to where you can use Stripe, Paddle, or Lemon Squeezy. He's got the landing pages set set up and all the about pages and the whole structure of what a SaaS should look like boilerplate it out for you so you don't have to do any of that. He also has an email collection with a coming soon page so you can start collecting emails right away which is something I'm doing on my current app. I spun that up and started using that and now I'm collecting emails right away without having to set any of that up myself even though that's not a lot of work. It's just like one of those things that makes life a little bit easier especially when you're trying to ship products quickly and this is a paid product, it's not free, but it just shows you how much the community is growing and how many people are developing specifically for Laravel and building things for the ecosystem. So the community and ecosystem, it was a huge selling point for me. There is a bit of like the framework wars when you get into the JavaScript world that you don't really experience with Laravel and the PHP world. Kind of like, not real, but real in a sense where you do have people complaining or, or debating whether or not Next is better or React is better than Angular or if Vue is better than Angular or if Vue is better than React. And you have a lot of people kind of comparing frameworks like a big measuring competition on which JavaScript framework is better. And you're always seeing a lot of that in the JavaScript world where I don't really notice that in the Laravel community. Like I notice a lot of support and people just excited to build and build more for this framework and build in this framework and grow this framework and community where I've had people who are developers for certain packages answer me directly on Twitter, ask me if I need help and they DM me. I've opened up GitHub issues and got like immediate response from some of the developers that are building some libraries for Laravel. One of them was the dev, his name is I believe Rob for Mary UI, which is a component library that uses Daisy UI for Laravel. I had Patricio who created Mingle.js, which allows you to inject little islands of React or Vue into your Laravel application without having to build a full inertia app. If you're using the tall stack and building in Livewire, it allows you to inject islands of JavaScript into your Livewire application. Like he's helped me out a ton. And it just really feels like there's a like a tight community of helpful developers who aren't constantly bickering or arguing about which framework is better and why you should do this or why you should use that. It's really just like, hey, let's build in this thing that we all love building in. And I feel that the JavaScript world is missing that. And again, it's kind of like made up. I don't know if it's really there, but you do see it a lot on Twitter where I know that developers are still gonna be helpful no matter what, but you do kind of have clicks of people who build in Vue or people who build in React or people who build in Angular, which is, <laughs> there's not many of those and they're not very vocal, but there is the framework wars as I refer to them. And I don't, I'm not coining that term. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but it does seem that way. And I don't feel that in Laravel at all. And at the end of the day, I'll be honest, like, I said, I wanted to find a framework that I got comfortable with, that I can build quickly in and ship products. And that's what my main takeaway is from this. Like, I really am enjoying Laravel. It might not be the framework for you. You might need to build out microservices. And Laravel is a big monolith application. Most products that I'm gonna build 
I don't need microservices for. I don't need to have my servers on the edge. I actually prefer not to. It actually makes things a little bit easier for me. It takes a little while for you to get up and running in that sense for development, but I have heard that the creator of Laravel is working very hard to make it a smoother process with Laravel Forge, which is what I use to deploy my applications currently. And I heard in a couple podcasts or in a recent podcast that he mentioned that he's trying to make it like a one-click thing like Vercel does with Next.js, which I think will end up being huge for the Laravel community. So there is a bit of a learning curve. I've set up servers you know, on, on different server websites like Heroku and you know, DigitalOcean before. So I've already gone through that learning process and that was a little more difficult, but that didn't sway me from not using it. And the things that people use other frameworks for and where people need to have serverless functionality and they are building microservices and a big monolith application won't work for them. I get that Laravel might not be the solution that you're looking for, but for me currently with what I'm trying to do and the way I'm trying to build, it works just fine for me. Everything's out of the box. Everything just works. I can spin up a server. I can work in my local development with the tools that they offer, like Laravel Herd. And just, it feels like I finally found the framework that I want to really dive into and use for my personal projects. And since I am currently not working as a developer, I don't feel like I need to learn this to get a job. If I keep building in it, eventually I'll get good enough in Laravel that I could probably market myself as a Laravel developer. I really don't care. I'm a web developer. The tools that I use, I use because they're the best tool for me to get the job done. And currently where I'm at in my endeavors of like trying to build SaaS ideas and trying to build my own businesses and do things like that. I feel like this is the right tool for the job for me. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. If you find the right tool for you that gets you building quickly and gets you solving the problems you need to solve so that you can make money so that you can find the solutions for your clients. It's on you. This is just my opinion and why I personally really like Laravel right now. And who knows? Maybe in the future, I might turn the Ruby on rails or maybe I might go back to Next.js, which I highly doubt. All that matters really is that you're building in the stack and tech that you enjoy using and that helps you get the job done. And that's what Laravel is doing for me. And I'm glad that I found it and I'm glad that I'm enjoying it as much as I am. And if this video persuades you to try out Laravel, then I'm glad that I can bring someone else over to this great developer experience that I've been having using this tech stack that I was kind of staying away from because I heard so many bad things about like, ooh, PHP, yuck, big monolith, all that stuff. It actually has been very pleasant and enjoyable and I plan to continue to keep using it as long as I can and as long as it serves a purpose for me. And if it no longer offers me the solutions that I'm looking for, then I'll move on to something else. But for now, I'm going all in on Laravel. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.